Vikram has some rupee one and rupee two coins in a bag, in the ratio of five is to two. The total amount is rupees five hundred and four. How many rupees two coins does he have? So, what are the unknowns in this case? In this case, the unknowns are the number of coins. So, Vikram doesn't know how many rupee one coins he has. and how many rupee two coins he has so the unknown is the number of rupee one coins and the number of rupee two coins it is given that the number of rupee one and rupee two coins is in the ratio 5 is to 2 what does it mean it means if that if there are five one rupee coins then there are two two rupee coins If there are ten one rupee coins, then there are four two rupee coins. So, if we represent the number of one rupee coin by x, we have to find a number for two rupee coins such that these two are in the ratio five is to two. So, we should have something here such that these two are in the ratio five is to two. a simpler way would be to represent this as 5x and this as 2x so if the number of rupee 1 coin is 5x and the number of rupee 2 coins is 2x these two are still in the ratio 5 is to 2 and x could be any number so x is the unknown number so we need to find x so we represent the number of rupee 1 coin as 5x and the number of rupee 2 coins as 2x the next step is to see what is given to us it is given that the total amount in the bag is rupees 504 so total amount is rupees 504 now what will be the total amount of money in the bag it will be the value of rupee 1 coins and the value of rupee 2 coins because there are two types of coins rupee 1 and rupee 2 now the total value of rupee 1 plus the total value of rupee 2 coins would give us the total amount of money which is there in the bag now what is the value of rupee 1 coin we know that the number of rupee 1 coin is 5x so the value of rupee 1 coin will be 1 into 5x that is 1 rupee into 5x number of coins similarly for 2 rupee coins it will be 2 rupee into the number of 2 rupee coins which is 2x so 2 into 2x so the value of rupee 1 coin is 5x 1 into 5x give us 5x and the value of rupee 2 coins is 2 into 2x which is 4x so this is the total amount of money in the bag now this and this should be equal because both represent the total amount of money in the bag rupees 504 should be equal to this so let us equate these two equating these two we get 5x plus 4x is equal to 504 now 5x plus 4x is 9x so we have 9x is equal to 504 now transposing 9 to the right hand side we get x is equal to 504 divided by 9 9 into 5 is 45 now 50 minus 45 is 5 so we take 5 from here and 4 from here it gives us 54 9 into 6 is 54 so we get x is equal to 56 so x is equal to 56 now can we find the number of rupee 1 coin and rupee 2 coins now yes because we have found x 
So what will be the number of rupee one coin? 5x, that is 5 into x. So 5 into 56 is 280. And the number of rupee two coins will be 2 into x, that is 2 into 56, which is 112. So how many rupee two coins does he have? Vikram has 112 rupee two coins with him in the bag. Now, a test has 90 multiple choice questions in which two marks are awarded for every correct answer and one mark is deducted for every question unattempted or answered incorrect. James gets 60 marks in the test. How many questions did he answer correctly? So if a student answers a question correctly, he gets two marks. Otherwise, a mark is deducted for every question where that is incorrect or unattempted. So what is unknown here? In this case, how many questions did he answer correctly? It is the unknown or the number of questions unattempted or answered incorrect. This is another unknown. So these two are the unknowns, questions answered correctly and questions incorrect or unattempted. So let us assume that the number of questions answered correctly is x. Now if the number of questions with James answers correctly is x, how many questions will be answered incorrect or unattempted? Whatever is left. So the test has 90 questions. Out of these 90, X have been answered correctly. So how many are left? We are left with 90 minus X. So the number of questions answered incorrect or unattempted is 90 minus X. Now the next step is to see what is given to us. It is given that James gets 60 marks in the test. So marks obtained by James is equal to 60. This is given to us. So James answered X questions correctly. For each question answered correctly, he gets 2 marks. So mark scored from correct answers will be x into 2, that is 2x, because he gets 2 marks for each correct answer. So he will get x into 2 marks for x correct answers. x into 2 gives us 2x. So marks obtained for correct answers is 2x. Now one mark is deducted for every question unattempted or answered incorrect. So one mark is deducted if a question is incorrect or unattempted. So total marks deducted will be 90 minus x into 1 which is equal to 90 minus x. So this is the total marks deducted. Now what will be the marks obtained by James? Marks obtained will be marks scored minus marks deducted. So this is what he gets by answering the questions correctly. And this is what he loses by answering the questions incorrectly or leaving the question unattempted. Total marks scored will be this minus this. So it will be 2x minus 90 minus x. Now it is given that total marks obtained is 60. So these two should be equal. So let us equate these two. Equating these two, we get 2x minus 90 minus x is equal to 60. Now this is a linear equation in one variable. So let us solve it. So we have 2x minus 90 plus x is equal to 60. 
2x plus x is 3x. We take negative 90 to the right hand side. So we have 60 plus 90 which is 150. Or x is equal to 150 divided by 3. That is 50. So x is equal to 50. Now what do we need to find? We need to find how many questions did he answer correctly. And we have assumed number of questions answer correctly to be x. We have solved for x and found x is equal to 50. So the number of questions answered correctly by James is equal to 50. So this is the correct answer.